So the word, the prophetic word was she would come to one of the revivals. So she's first, she's alive because of what Jesus Christ did. And now she's here. So this is, this is not the end. This is the beginning. for COVID, right? And when we came back from Atlantic City, she got worse. And they, they had her in a glass uh, room. We could not see her. So she's been in there for a month. And when they finally let us see her, because they said she was about to die, we went uh, with the oil that you... Uh, that oh, so carried. she wasn't at the revival. She was not okay. at the revival. She was supposed to come, but she Because got, there was a lady at the revival that got... Yeah. No, this was two days, from go, two, days she was, two days before she was going with me, she got hit oh, okay, with COVID. Okay. Yeah. So, so when we went up there, uh, when they let us into the hospital, we took the oil that you prayed over because uh, Terry had a bottle. Remember, you prayed over yeah. it. She gave me some in a bottle, and she says, I failed to give you this, sister. And I said, okay. So I took it back home, and they finally let my husband and I in there. When we came in there, we laid hands with her with oil, and um, the next day, uh, no, it was that day we laid hands with her with oil. I got the video where she starts to wake up. Let's see it. Oh, now, yeah. I gave you the handkerchief because yeah. I came here believing that she's going to be fully awake. Her yeah. mouth moved on the first video. When I handed you the handkerchief, it was around 1.16. That was around the time you prayed for us. I just went to the car because it started raining to get a hat and everything. And my father and mom sent me a video. And completely she's completely and woke up. She died oh, twice. Wow. She died twice. And, and the they Lord. resuscitated her. And they said, we have to disconnect her because she has brain damage. She has broken ribs because she's of the resuscitation. Of and I said, no, devil, you're a liar. We're going to go and we're going to lay hands on her. They were allowing everybody in because she was dying. And, and, and so we went in there with faith. My whole family was just, you know, believing for a miracle. But there were other side of the family that were just there waiting for her to go. And when we when we went we went in there, it was the favor of God because we were by ourselves and we were laying hands on her. Oh, I feel the whole thing. And when we laid hands on her with oil, her mouth started to move. And I I recorded it. It's on here. And then today, when I gave you the handkerchief, because I was believing God for uh for certain things on her life, for her to be fully awake. And here's the video. Come out of it, they send it at 1.16. The day she was supposed to go to deliverance and prayer, she uh, started feeling sick. And the next day my mom called me and said, you know, we have to rush Rebecca to the emergency room. She has, uh, she's throwing up, she can't breathe, she's coughing real bad. And uh, they found out she had COVID. Well, I went on to go with RPA. What state was that? I forgot. <laughs> it was RPA, uh, one of the states. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, she didn't come. And I started out questioning God. I said, Lord, what's going on? What's, why can't she come? You know. And I just felt it was like an attack from the enemy because she really wanted to, to come for deliverance and prayer. And I went back home and they, they put her in a coma and she was in a coma for I don't know two months and um, so we I would go up there every day and you know bathe her clean her up and just pray for her and and just minister to everybody up there the nurses and everything and I said Lord I know there's a purpose for her to be here and you know the purpose was to be on COVID hallway and minister to them because there was a lot of them dying. Yeah. So she died and she died the first time. Uh, but going back, we brought oil back from uh, the, the gathering and Dustin prayed over it. My friend said, I really feel like you should have some of this oil. So she put it in a bottle for me. This is anointed oil. Oh. I'm not anointed, ladies. That's that anointing on still. It's still honor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, came back to the hospital. We prayed for her because we, we heard she had passed away and then came back. And um, 
she, when I went back to visit her, she died again that night around three or four in the morning. They called us and said, look, if she dies again, you know, she's going to have brain damage. Yeah. And they were trying to encourage us to disconnect her. And we were like, no, we're not going to disconnect her. We're believing God for a miracle. Amen. And um, so she didn't come out of a coma. We went up there with the oil and a handkerchief. And we got it on video where she started to wake up. She opened her eyes. She, she's completely waking up. She's coming out of it. She's healed. Jesus name. And her eyes completely wake up. They told us she would have, she would, we would have to disconnect her because she was, uh, she died twice at 3 a.m. She died at 3 a.m. But we, we got on our knees and we cried out to God. And uh, she died again immediately after that. And uh, when we were able to come in with the oil, we saw her mouth move, but we left. We came here. And then my mom and dad stayed behind. And uh, they said her eyes weren't open yet. But here, her eyes are opening. When I hand you that handkerchief, that's when everything happened in that moment. When I went to the car, I had an urge to go to the car. And I had left my phone there. And I had the urge to pick it up. And they sent me that video. She's coming out. So she's raised she from the testimony. dead. Literally, yes, literally yes, raised from the dead. Her, and and she, her mouth starts to move. Oil. She spoke with oil. And then from the handkerchief right now, she starts her coming Her eyes open. And uh, even though she woke up, you know, the doctors were like, well, she's going to have brain damage. She's not going to be able to walk. She's not going to be able to speak. And we were just believing otherwise. We were believing the opposite. And uh, she came to, and uh, we just kept continued to pray for her. But she told me she didn't remember a lot of things, but she did remember that she had a lot of... Uh, warfare in the demonic realm. She went into the realm of the demonic and they were torturing her and that as she was in a coma, but she said she could hear. So when a person's in a coma, never talk over them negative, because they can hear you. And she, could t and she told me, I could hear you, Rachel. You were, you were praying for me. I could hear you and I was trying to call out to you, but you, you couldn't hear me. And demons were torturing me. And, you know, she was at a point of just, you know, being lost. <laughs> Bless you. But we kept believing that she's here. Did she find me? Oh, yeah. She come back huh. alive in Jesus' name. She's gonna yeah. walk. She's gonna talk. Yeah. Oh, I miracle. Hey, a miracle. She's gonna be a living testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Take it. Hey. And I could hear my sister talking, and I could hear the nurses saying, they might as well pull the plug, she's going to be mentally retarded if she wakes up. Uh, I could hear all that, and I was crying out for my sister, saying, please, don't give up. Don't leave me here. Don't give up. When I woke up, they told me that my husband, my kids told me, Mom, we weren't crying. We weren't upset. But we found Dad in his office crying because he thought you were going to die. And I just feel that God used it to solve yeah. his heart. Because we didn't have any love for each other, I'm not going to lie. I was going to church. I thought I was serving God. But we just didn't have anything for each other. There had been too much damage. And so when I woke up, I told him, I said, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me for everything I said or did. I said, but I don't hate you anymore. I've always loved you. All I wanted was to be important yes. to you. Yes. And I never felt important to you. I never felt that you cared. 
I said, but you know what? That doesn't even matter anymore because it's not worth my soul. It's not worth your soul. It's not worth your soul. It's not worth your eternity. Let it go. Just let it go. I know that's easier said than me. I tell people, man, it stinks. That I had to die in order to learn how to live. Hey!